Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, The Plumbing Gurus. This is the on-site edition. My name is Clayton. Today, we're gonna to be installing a Kohler valve, a uh, shower valve, okay? What I'm gonna to attempt to do here, I don't do these very often, so I thought we'd do a different video today. Um, usually we try to, you know, we do things that we're really good at, we show everybody. Uh, today, I'm gonna to show you something that I'm not good at. Um, honestly, through my career of plumbing, uh, which has been about 15 years, I bet you have installed this Kohler valve maybe, maybe 10 times, okay? So the last one I did was probably like three years ago. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab these very well written instructions and we are gonna throw those off to the side and uh, come on over and let's, uh, Let's figure this out together. So just because there's so many parts here, there's no countertop. I'm just going to use the floor here as, as a table for myself. Uh, so we're going to take everything apart here. So in my experience, okay, so I know that's going to hold the plate on. So that's going to have to go behind like that. And then my guess is that this is this screw part here. It's got threads on it here. So that's probably going to hold some sort of handle towards the wall. This is the, the finished plate, nice and shiny. The one thing I do remember about Kohler is that it's one of the few valves that you turn left to go on and then right to go down. Oh, sorry, you turn it left up like this to go on, yeah, and then right to go off. So different than all the other valves out there. If you've got a bag of parts, who knows what that is. Okay, so here's a handle. I'm making progress here, I like it. Okay, handle and there's a little, so that tells me there's something that slides in there that stops the handle. So that makes it so that you can turn the valve on and off. Oh, look at this, we've got a bunch of different screws here. And then we've got, this must be the escutcheon for the shower arm. So we'll put that off to the side, we'll grab this to the side. Oh, nice big shower head here. Just take this out here. Isn't this fun? Right? So if you ever get one of these and you lose the instructions and you, you're trying to figure out how to do it, you follow me on. Follow me with this journey. Oh, instructions? Let's throw those away. And then this is just the arm for the shower. So we'll put that nice and more safe out of the way. And then we'll use this box here for garbage. And the other reason why, um, the other reason why I like to keep everything in the box is just in case there's a little set screw or there's a little part or something, I just throw it all in the box, right? So if there's something lost in the bag and I'm missing a part from somewhere, I can just go through my box. It's not like I have all my garbage scattered all over the place or throw it in a big garbage bin because that's happened to me in the past where I've, uh, I've lost a few things. Okay, so first thing is, I'm looking at this valve. The cartridge is already installed. Um, and it looks like this part can just come right out. So that would just be the template for the rough-in. So it tells the towel guys where to cut their hole. All right, so looking at this here, almost looks like this just slides in there somehow. Okay. What's this? Instructions? No, nope, don't need them. Okay, so this. Make sure that screws on there. Yep. So that has two screws on it. So I guess is that this screws on first. Let's have a look see here. This probably screws on tight. And then this goes on like that, and then that screws it on tight to there. That's my guess. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead with that. 
Now, this came with some screws here, right here. So this one. So what I'm looking for now is I'm looking for two identical screws. So I got two of these ones. We'll put them maybe right here. And we got two of these ones. So, and then in here we've got a little screw in that, so we'll just leave that together. So I'm guessing, I'll just try one screw here. I'm guessing that's it there. And it's only gonna allow me to go that far before it hits the back of the valve there. Probably the shorter ones. So, probably the two different ones. Right? I feel like they're pretty close to the same. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is it here. And this part has two so different... So you're using the shorter ones because the depth of the... The depth is... The, I, I think the longer screws will end up hitting the valve. So... Just explain, so they're not going to hear me very well. So the reason you're using the shorter ones is... Yeah, the reason why I'm using the shorter ones is because if I use the long ones, it feels like it's going to hit the back of the valve. So... And they come with two different screws, longer and shorter screws. So I'm guessing this is it. Who knows? This could be completely wrong. And uh, but sometimes this is how you learn when you're doing stuff, right? We're just having fun here, guys. Like usually, we'll I'll follow the instructions. I highly recommend that we usually do. Um, for some reason, why? So this here, I'm going to take this off here. Because if you look at this plate here, I'll show you. I'll show you what happened here. Is this thing just little clips here? That's all that's going on there. But if you look at this plate here, you can see the bottom has a little opening. So that would tell me that if water did get behind this plate, you'd want that water just to come down through the bottom and before it was on the side. So what we're going to do, I think it goes up and down like that. And probably the pressure from me screwing this in holds this in place. It won't allow it to move. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll screw these back on. And when you're doing this kind of stuff, don't use a drill. Just do everything by hand. Um, I used to uh, use a drill and I, I made a couple mistakes and it's it sure it's faster, but this is not always about speed. You just want to do it, do it once. And once you're done, you just want to be finished with it, right? So. So there we go, we'll get, we'll get these. And these, I'm not gonna go crazy tight. I'm just gonna get them nice and snug so that the seal all around here. And as I'm doing that, I'm trying to move it around. It's not really moving around. So it is creating some nice pressure, not ha not being this, not allowing this to move. Okay, what's next? I would say the plate would have to go on next. I think, isn't this fun? <laughs> Isn't this fun? Okay. Sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. I'm, just, I'm trying to figure this out with you guys as well. So <laughs> it's kind of fun actually. I really don't mind it. Okay, so uh, this here looks like this would sit here. This handle has threads inside. And then like I said before, there's a little square piece inside. So that's gonna tell me if the valve is on. Well, that's gonna be able to turn the valve on and off. So when I'm doing this, I like to do it. If I'm doing a valve that I'm not really sure about, I'll like to put the valve in the off position. So I know the handle has to be straight down to be off as it says on the plate here. Okay, so, and it looks like they give you this part here, which I don't think that's gonna work for us. I think there's different handles and different handles, the other handle probably inside as something that would slide onto here and that's what would be able to turn the valve itself on and off. And, um, so we're gonna use this one. 
pretty sure this is it here. And then I'm looking at it. It's got two different sizes. So maybe what I'll do, instead of screwing it all that way, is, oh, I get it. Would you look at that? So we did need this. Did we? Yep. Yeah. That slides onto there. Okay, so on one side, it has, uh, you can see a slot there that matches this. So that's how you slide that on. We'll grab our screwdriver. Let's screw this on. And then when you're doing these screws, don't force it right away. Just make sure that the screw goes on nice and easy. And then, and then we can turn it to the off position. So I know the handle's down. And then this thing goes on like this. Now looking at this and looking at the handle, it looks like the handle lines up, that square part lines up with the handle. So I'm going to want to have this in the off position and you're going to want it, the handle to be aiming straight down. So it looks like I'm off just a little bit. So we are going to unscrew this. And we're going to, and if you're doing this too, and you have a drain, just cover your drain up. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this out and we're just going to turn it one notch like that. That's as close as we're going to get it. We're not going to get any closer than that. Let's see if that makes a difference. We'll screw that back on. This here, that's on. There we go. It's not perfect, but I think that'll do. Sorry. And then here, so I'll just leave the screw off because there's two different sides I can go on that. And I think, I think that might be too long. But we'll try it. So, oh yeah. And would you look? Would you look at that too? This here, no. Nope. This here screws both of these on. This is evidence that I that I haven't done these very often. <laughs> right. So this goes in here. We'll straighten this guy. It has to be like that, and then turn this one notch over. There. I think that's as close as we're going to get it. It's not perfect, but we can get it straight. A little bit more straight. No, this is best, the best we can do. Yeah, I'm going to go right there. Okay, so now I'll grab that longer screw that I had. Move these screws over here. And we'll see this up here there we go so that does both of them okay so now grab the handle and then we pull that in there and it looks like this part is separate than the handle so you hold push it in and turn this look at that making stuff work here and I don't think this has to be on terribly tight. I think you want to hold it. And just turn that center part so that, there we go. So that doesn't move. Yeah. Sweet. Valve is done. Okay, so I think that's more than the, the harder part of the valve. So we are just gonna, and if we do have extra parts, I just put them all in the bag, put them all inside there, and later if I find that I'm missing something, then I'm good to go. All right, so now we are gonna grab some Teflon tape. We're gonna grab some dope. And we are going to grab a little pair of channel locks here. Let's 
excuse my bag, it's a little messy. Okay, so what I'll do here is we'll take the nipple off. So in this case, the valve has been drained because um, we have the water shut off underneath. When I'm doing this for say in a basement where this might still have water in it, and this actually still might have water in it, uh, we'll just use this. But the reason why uh, you wanna just take the cap off is because the water that comes out of here is, is somewhat rusty if you're using iron pipe as a cap like we are. Um, but um, I know that there's gonna be no water in here. So, but just as a safety precaution, we're just gonna use this box. I'd use a bucket if, if I knew there was gonna be lots of water, but in this case, there just might be a drip. But, okay, so no water. And that's the reason why, one of the reasons why you're not allowed to use black iron for potable. It's because it rusts. So, get rid of this. And when I'm taking these off here, I just push a little pressure up against the wall so that this thing doesn't fall and, and break your tiles or crack your tiles or anything, cause any damage. So, so we'll get that out of the way. I don't need my channel locks anymore. So here, we'll grab the escutcheon. So this long part will go into the wall. This will slide over top. Pretty loose fit. So, okay, so now we'll do some tape. Yeah, that looks good. So we'll do some tape. So we like to use three wraps. One, two, three. Um, for this here, you know, you can skip the first thread. I usually just go right pretty, pretty close to the front first thread there. And if, it, if I feel like it's gonna go inside, I'll just push it off just like that. But for the most part, um, you shouldn't have an issue with that. So, and this part doesn't matter because this is going in the wall, so you don't have to keep your tape nice and tight. And so we'll just use a little dope. And then this side here has a washer. So we'll just use a little dope on the other side. And uh, actually, you know what? I usually, just as a little protecting, to confirm that the joint's not gonna leak, I'll wrap my tape just like this, and I'll just do one wrap just around the front, just like that, okay? So that just helps to lube the threads, and also, if there is gonna be water that's gonna escape through that gasket, I'm hoping that this here will seal it so that it won't. And I won't worry about doping that side yet. And then this here, we'll just slide this in here. And then we'll just spin this arm in just like this. So I'll go in. This doesn't need to be crazy tight, but you can feel it's starting to get tight there. Now, I'll show you guys a little trick of the trade here. Uh, this is not normal. Uh, we're in a loft here, and it's the top floor. Uh, so they have vaulted ceilings here. Usually the shower will be, there'll be lots of room above, but in this situation, it's kind of low. So in order to get that to spin without wrecking the threads, because you don't, you can't put any, well, you can put uh, maybe a, uh, some sort of, uh, what do you call those? Strap. strap wrench around here. But even then those strap wrenches around here, sometimes you can dig in and even bend the metal a little bit. So. Use it. Just be careful doing this type of stuff with uh, the plastic, like the, these arms. Yeah, if they're plastic like arms. Plastic arms. Yeah, then just just go snug, uh, and if you run into this problem here, take it apart, retape it. Maybe put one more layer of tape on, or one less layer of tape, so you can get that full rotation, or go one just a half a turn less, and then you'll still get that same tightness. So this, when I'm doing this. I'm really looking at this part of the arm here so that I'm not bending this out. As soon as I start bending it out, I'm gonna take it off and I'll, I'll, I'll find a different way to do it. So you can pull it down. You can see it's not bending the inside. And as soon as I can get more leverage on it, I don't know why this is, they're not usually, I don't usually get this tight right away. 
Okay. Haven't damaged it at all. Looking great. Perfect. So that's a little trick that, uh, you know, through the years of plumbing that I've learned. So put those back because we don't need them. And then now the final step is I'll just put just a tiny little dope on the front. Just a touch, nothing crazy. And I'm just doing that because I want the threads to be lubricated so that I can get this as tight as I can with that washer that's just inside there, okay? So you don't need very much lubrication for that to work. So just turn that. Now we'll grab a crescent wrench. And uh, this here, when you're doing this part, sometimes they'll give you just a little lip there. And if this is plastic, which this is plastic, you want to just be very careful that you don't uh, strip your crescent wrench on there. So just go nice and easy. It's not a rush. And not too tight either. We'll just go about there. The beauty about this is because you can see it, you're better off to go a little loose and then have a little drip and then you can slowly tighten it, slowly tighten it, especially if this is plastic. If this part here was metal, then I wouldn't be too concerned about it, but just because it's plastic, if I go too tight, I will crack the plastic and that's happened to me in the past. So, um, yeah, cool. I think it's all done. Uh, so what I'll do as well, uh, I won't show this in the video, but because this is loose here, this discussion, I'll just take a little bit of silicone, put it behind the discussion, push it flat, wipe the silicone off nicely so that discussion will stay just like that. And that's it. And that's how you install a Kohler valve with no instructions. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any comments or any other ways that you guys do it that are better than this, I'd love to hear it. Um, other than that, yeah, thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll see you on to the next one.